Okay, so we've been talking about aging for a little while now. So I figured that tonight would be a good night to talk about building an actual aging work in progress chart. So welcome back to the channel. My name is Dean Channer, and this is What Would Dean Ask? Tonight, we're asking, how do you build an aging work in progress chart? So we're going to build a chart tonight off of a random selection of data that I generated using my random data generator script. I'll link that script in the comments below. But let's just say, for instance, that what we have before us is 100 items, and we have the day that they started and the day that they ended. For a lot of metrics, that's all you need, is what day did it start, and what day did it end. And you can build things like cycle time, scatter plots, throughput graphs, and of course, the graph we're going to talk about tonight, which is the aging work in progress chart. So for basic aging work in progress chart, all you need is the day that the item started, and that will get you the blue bars. So if you look, you see items 36 through 45 and the day that they started. Items 36 started on day 16. Excuse me, day 19. So I item 36 started on day 19. So today, the day that we are measuring, so we're pretending today is day 24. Excuse me, day 25. So we're pretending today is day 25, so we took a random selection of data out of this random selection of data. And we're pretending today was day 25. So these are all the items that had started but have not finished yet by day 25. And you can see their, their ages here. So the oldest, which is the one that started on day 19, which is now six days old, day 25. Right? So that'll get us the blue bars. So let's just talk about the blue bars for a minute. And let's talk about if this was a real team, what was going on. If I'm in stand up or team planning or I'm just walking the wall, whatever, and I'm looking at this and I'm like, hey guys, what happened to item 36? Six days old. It's over than a week. You've been working on this for over a week now, over a business week. What's going on? Right, that is why the aging work in progress chart is is so important, and it's something you need to be adding to your repertoire. That blue bar alone says, "Hey, look at me." Now, look what happened on day twenty four. If this was a real team, and of course, if what this wasn't, right? But this is a real team. It they started three more items. All right. So, all right. So, day twenty-four, they missed what was going on. They didn't see that big item, or they ignored it. They're like, "Oh, we'll finish it. We'll promise we'll finish it." But they started three more. Didn't get finished. So on day twenty-five, whether you're the scrum master, the flow master, the manager, the team, right? You're like, "Hey, everybody, stop for a second here. We've got too much work going on." We should have never started those three items yesterday. This item number 36, whatever it is, that's probably the big bad bug that the boss needed fixing. That's probably why it's taking so long. We need to get it fixed. Okay? So blue bars alone, aging work in progress, is screaming at us. Right? And all we did was m take a simple bar chart and Google Sheets, Excel, stickies on a wall, crayon on a mar on a cardboard piece of paper, I don't care, right? All we did was take a bar, the height of how old that thing is, right? So item number 36 started on day 19. We're in fictitious land. It's day 25. Bar is six height, right? Six units high, six days high. Highest bar on there. 
Now, here's where it gets cool, though. We take that same chart, and we get the cycle time from the items that have come before it. And that's what we've done here. So you, in addition to the blue bars, what you see here is four lines. A line for the 50th percentile, a line for the 70th percentile, a line for the 85th percentile, and a line for the 95th percentile. Look at where that 95th percentile bar is, a line is on that first bar, item 36, right? So the 95th percentile, meaning, and you can see this over here on the right, meaning that 95% of the items before this were shorter in their cycle time. This means the team, outside of 5% of the time, and by the way, 5% is like statistically never, just, just for those that are playing along, have never seen an item take this long. So that's where it gets cool. That red bar is like, hey, not only is it taking long, you're in what I like to call no man's land. And I got that idea from Daniel Vacante, right? You've never been here before. So like, it's cause for concern. We don't know when, we. it's hard at this point to, to decide if we're even going to be able to finish this. So we need to stop what's going on. So the other bars here then are the 50th percentile, the 70th percentile, and the 85th percentile. What I tell teams is that whenever an item gets in between the 70th and the 80th percentile or starts approaching the 85th percentile, it's time to stop your normal work. It's time to swarm on that, pair on that, Pun on that, something. It's, we, we have a problem here. Scrum master, manager, flow master, this is where you're asking the team, what is the problem and how can I help? This is when you're no longer in stand-up. This is when you're in stand-up and if you're one of those teams that's asking the flow questions, what is blocked, what is old, what is new? This is old, right? So if you've got the 85th percentile, it's old. It's time to break it down. It's time to break it down, stop everything, do something. Now, here's where the thing gets, here's where it gets interesting. Once you cross that 50th percentile line, that's where you want to start thinking, hey, do I got this? Because at this point, 50% of the time, once you cross that line, you it's hard to tell when you're going to finish it. Okay? So, aging chart. So, all I did to build this, right, is capture the day that the item started, and then do some little bit of math here in Excel. Actually, this is Google Sheets, but same thing. Excel, Google Sheets, All right? And plot on a bar graph the height being how old it is. Then if I want to take it a step further and I want to see those percentiles, then what I got to do is grab the... 50th, 70th, 85th, and 95th. And you don't have to do all four of them. Um, if you only do one, do the 85th. Um, if you only do one and two, do the 85th and 95th. You get you get the idea here. Um, all right? And I just had those as lines. And the way I add them as lines on the, on the graph is you can just see the numbers going down on all the items, right? Really simple chart to make. Not too hard. I'll put I'll put this example here in my GitHub. Link that in the show notes. Um, up, if you hit me up on Twitter at Agile Channer on Twitter, um, Dean at WhatWouldDeanAsk dot com. If you need some help, I will love. 
to help you build one of these. Um, everybody that contacts me gets at least 30 minutes free coaching time. So if you need some help building this, I want to make sure you're building this because I want to make sure that everybody is using an aging work in progress chart. Thanks again for viewing. Make sure you like this video if you like it. Make sure you subscribe because I try to drop a video at least once a week. Um, thanks again. Have a good night.